Hi everybody, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I just wanted to wish Happy Mother's Day. That's right, I wanted to wish every, all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. And you know what? Fathers who are single fathers, single parents, happy, you know, technically Mother's Day as well, right? Everybody out there who is raising children deserves all the credit in the world they get because the world is changing drastically and technology's out the window and this, things have changed so much since I was a kid and things have changed even more so since my mother was a kid. And so it's, uh, it's different challenges for every generation, but let's just face it, your parents instill upon you your personality, your morals and your convictions. And basically I owe everything that I think I am to both my mother and my father and I just wanted to wish everybody out there and I know we were you know we would like to go out to dinner with our loved ones to a restaurant or maybe be on a cruise or something just not happening this year but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate our mothers anyway and I hope you are um, I celebrate my mother in our own way uh, my mother passed away about five years ago. She passed away about one month exactly before I was diagnosed for my first time with cancer. And of course, she passed away of cancer that same year, uh, lung cancer as a matter of fact. Um, she passed away uh, three days after her anniversary and two days before her birthday. She would have been 75 years old. Um, it was a very hard time in my life. Um, seeing my mother as she lived in Nova Scotia and I lived in Ontario. <clears throat> Sorry, and didn't get to see a lot of each other back then, especially near the end. And um, it was one of the hardest things to see my mother in a small country hospital care ward um, for the final days in there and unfortunately that's my last memories of my mother and not what a joyful person she was. My mother was absolutely incredible. Um, she worked most of her life. Um, my dad was in the military and if you think the military is underpaid now, you should see what they were paid in the 60s. <laughs> so yeah, my mother started out as a cashier in grocery stores, moved to the Hudson's Bay Company, and ended up actually running the cash offices for five Hudson Bay stores in Canada. So she rose herself up with her work, and I like to think I have that ethic, my work ethic comes from not only my dad, but my mother as well, who always strived to do the best thing and the best job she could. It was not always easy. We were definitely not rich. Um, my parents finally near the, you know, my, my dad near the end, he passed away when he was around 50 of a heart attack. He really, really didn't start to have any money to put together for himself until he hit about 40. And so um, I'm glad he got to enjoy the last 10 years and travel the way he wanted to do and do some things that he really wanted to do. But I owe a lot to my parents. I hope you guys feel the same way. I hope you are still with your mother on this happy day and you can wish her happy Mother's Day. And if you're missing your mom, just think good thoughts as most of us do. There's always bad times and rough times, but there's still our mother, and I miss my mother every day. Not much of a cruising story today, but I just, I have to say, happy Mother's Day, everybody, and, you know, until next time, I, I hope you appreciate this video. Please say hi to your mother for me, and until next time, have yourself a safe and a great
Mother's Day.